a point of interest on which hydrological analysis will be carried out. Now again close the GIS document. No, no, okay. Again open it. Okay, now this time click on your uh, demo project. Okay, open it and you will see here uh, we will start from where we have ended. Okay, this was our previous project. Now to delineate watershed, what we will do go to the project setup and click on the start new project. Okay. Uh, start new project project area project point you can view it different names okay i will click on okay okay give here project name uh, we will say here demo Once again, I will try because I think I have uh, passed the video during this uh, this step start project. Okay, and you can see here you can view it here in my different names description and then click on okay. Okay, so it will complete it. Now again after start project, you 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 will need here to generate project and for generate project, uh, no new project defined. Okay, so. For generate project, we will uh, what we will do? Uh, uh, we will add our shape file. Okay, so click on this add data button and go to the demo folder where we have saved the shape file of our coordinates. And you can see here this is the outlet of and uh, shape file of our outlet uh, coordinates. Okay, so add here which we created from the Excel. Okay, remember don't be confused you can save it uh, everywhere in any folder but i have saved it in the same demo folder in which i am creating different layers okay so edit and you can see here it was uh, edit uh, uh, here its size is little bit more small and i will increase its size okay and you can see here this is our outlet means uh, if one if we are uh, working on these lines then we do not know that where our uh, dam or our uh, bridge or our interest point is located and by this by this way uh, we specify or we define the our uh, point okay so now now you can see here uh, some point okay uh, this is the this is a, a tool which shows you that what is the contributing area of your uh, what uh, of your watershed okay so I will zoom to this uh, point okay uh, here you can see this catchment but if when you are zooming remember during this step you should check this str link okay stream link okay layer uh, this must be checked okay and uh, uncheck this catchment layer if for example now i will zoom it to the this layer the, this point okay i am going to zoom in and these are the str link line okay these are the str link line if I check this catchment, then this will be not visible. So I uncheck it. Okay. Now, if I click on this uh, contributing area and I click on this point, then you can see here that contributing area of watershed to this point is 
7156 square kilometer sometimes you know about your watershed and your point that what is my watershed area and by this way you are confirming that you are selecting the right point for uh, delineation of watershed okay if not if your value if this value and uh, the value about which you know from literature or from any other source then uh, you have to uh, check about different things okay for example you have to check about your coordinates okay uh, your digital elevation model okay I, I either there uh, is some area uh, which may be uh, missing okay from delineation as i have told earlier that then you have to download two or three uh, digital elevation models uh, uh, extra okay so by this way you can uh, confirm your point that it's uh, contributing area contributing area means the whole upper catchment area okay so now we will click on this add project point click on this and click on anywhere in this uh, uh, selected area okay uh, shaded area okay uh, in which your point lies not in this one neither in this one in, in the one in which your point lies okay so if i click on above on this so now start a new project and try again okay so first of all i will start a new project mm, i will give it a name project name uh, as i have given earlier for example i will give it a demo in description i will give it to watershed okay the same step which i have done earlier but i'm doing it again okay okay now add this point okay project name outlet one project description outlet one you can change it i will go with this one okay so it's created now I will click on the generate project okay it will delineate watershed at this point okay you can see here and do you want to create a project for the area shown so it will okay first, first click this yes and these are different stream grade streaming this will be created for uh, my specific watershed okay it takes little bit time but if your watershed is too uh may have too much large area then it will take uh, uh, much time okay so be patient in every step of arcgis do not hurry okay save it properly to a specific folder okay actually if you are seeing these uh, different parameters or characteristics which it creates uh, then uh, you know that it's the hack geo hms okay and we are processing the watershed with the hack geo hms and uh, uh, it by default prepares some data for hack hms which is used for hydrological modeling uh, we, even if we are not interested then but it will create because it's uh, in, uh, built in by default okay so our project is completed and you can see here that our basin uh, here you can see its outlet
all these things which you can see 